Hey, what's happening guys? Happy New Year. 2019 is with us and uh, I hope you all have a great year. Well, you guys are familiar with my Zenny 937D. You know, basically a Heiko knockoff soldering iron. I've had it for a couple years. I take good care of my tips and as you can see, they're still shiny. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with this soldering station. It works fantastically. Santa has brought me a new soldering station. And we are going to check it out today and see what there is to see about it. And we'll see if it uh, can earn a spot on my starting roster. So this is it here in this giant box. It is the D1 1172A. So I'm going to uh, get as much room here for you guys to be able to see this as possible. And we're going to unpack and see what all is in the box. Well, we've got a manual, tips, now I actually know what this is, an SMD tool, oh nice, we've got some nozzles for the heat gun, we've got our iron, our heat gun, and if it wants to come out, there's our soldering station, and we have a uh, soldering iron holder. I'm going to uh, move some stuff around and we'll be right back. Here is a nice front view of the station. This is the Zenny 862D+, and in addition to being a plain soldering station, it's also a hot air rework station that comes with that. This is the uh, hot air rework cable. It's plugged in there permanently. And you can see we have a soldering temperature control here, hot air temperature control here, airflow here, soldering power switch, hot air power switch, this is where our iron plugs in and then we have auto and manual switch and we have actual temperatures so that's pretty cool on the back we have a fuse and a master power SMD rework station 110 volts AC 50 60 Hertz 700 watts with a 10 amp fuse and it says on here that it is, you guys can read that, ESD safe. So that's always nice. Um, let me have a look in the manual and we'll uh, see about getting this thing up and running. Okay, I think I've got everything <clears throat> hooked up right. Uh, if I don't, I'm sure some smart ass YouTuber will be happy to point it out to me with a sarcastic comment. I was looking at that cable. There's just some uh, schmoo there. I thought it might have been down to the insulation, but no, it looks good. Now, don't want that cable up there in front of the heat gun. So let's plug her in. And we'll turn the switch on. Okay. Let's start with the soldering iron. 302. I like it to be about 350. So we'll crank her up here to 350. And as you can see, it's counting up to the temperature. Wow. 
if it heated up to 350 that fast, I'm going to be like super impressed. Yeah, no way. It's not even not even close to melting the solder. I don't think maybe that uh, little blinking uh, LED might be telling me it's still trying to heat up. I'm not sure because there's really not a lot of instruction here. Okay, it's starting to melt the solder. So I'm going to tin this thing real nice here. I did a video on that. I'm not going to make you watch it. Um, if I can find a link to it, I'll put it down below. I'll be back after I tin it. Uh, so far, so good. Tinned it. I'm going to uh, put just a touch on there for thermal transfer. And then I'm going to do my very unscientific measurement of its temperature. Remember she's set for 350. I know you can't see my uh, my readout, it's reading 250 right now. Uh, not really on there, very good. Let me try this again. Let's see what we get here. Again, it's reading, I uh, know oh you can't see nothing, hold on. Really hard for me to hold it there. But that's reading 274, which is a little low. Look again how it's melting this solder. It's melting the solder alright, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it terribly. Again, I have no idea what that's auto manual switches. If you guys know, let me know. Alright, next thing I want to do is I want to put on one of these um, constricting nozzles. I'm going to go with the smallest one we have so the heat is as concentrated as it can possibly be. Put that on like that. And we're going to set our temperature. Uh, again, we're going to try for about 350, I guess. So let's turn hot air on. Oh, we can turn our soldering iron off. And as you can see, it started up. As soon as I pulled it off the cradle, which is very nice, it's pretty quiet. Heat's coming up now. Let's see where she's set for. Put it about 350. I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I'll bring it up close to the mic here. But yeah, she's pretty quiet. Well, we're climbing way over the 350. Let's see how it does with the uh, thermocouple. 455. Yeah, I would say that is... Uh, right on now if I put this back in the holder it's gonna shut off no and it's still not shutting off
I am confused as to why it turned on when I pulled it out. But it does not turn off. Do I need to turn the air off? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that air has to stay on. keep the fan going so it cools down properly I, I'm I'm guessing here again I have no experience with this and uh, you know in my career at bear I never dealt with uh, SMD work Every, everything was through hole old school don't you know because I'm old so it's cooling down I'll tell you what I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit more and then you and I are going to take the cover off of it and uh, see what she got. What do you say about that? All right. Go get you some sauerkraut and a hot dog or pork chop and meet me back here in blink of an eye. All right. What do you say we take it apart? See what's inside. Shouldn't be anything too complicated, I wouldn't imagine. Alright, I'm going to pause this while I take the screws out. All the screws are out. Should be able to lift that off pretty simply. And take a look in here and see what there is to see. And like I said, it's going to be pretty simple. Start in the back where the mains power comes in. You can see it comes in through here. Then it goes to the fuse, out from the fuse, and up here to the switch. Leaving from the switch, and then we're going over here. To this board where all the connections are made but the heart and soul here is simply this transformer 110 volts 60 Hertz red to red 0 to 28 volts blue to blue 0 to 32 green to green 0 to 12 yellow to yellow and if we take a look down here we can see the ground connection from the mains is connected to the case transformer all put together very nicely give you a look at the uh, circuit board here pretty simple single-sided not a whole lot going on really only a couple of things to note here uh, this IC here which is a dip 20 is an S3F94C4EZZ-DK94 which of course I had to look up because I've never heard of that it's a uh, Samsung microcontroller then we have a 7805 here and a power fit down there pretty simple not much to it so there it is back together and it's got a spot on my bench. I don't much care for the power switch in the back. But other than that, I really don't have uh, anything bad to say about it. It is properly grounded. Properly fused. And for the price, which is around $65. I think it's a pretty decent unit. The case is of, you know, metallic, plastic front, plastic back. Got about 24 inches of line for the soldering cord, maybe 16 to 18 inches for the hot air gun. And other than that, 
I think it's a pretty nice unit. And that's where we're going to end today's video, the first video of 2019. I want to thank you guys for joining me on your New Year's Day. And I hope I'll see you throughout the year in more videos. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.